I don't see it here. And there it is. My neighbors just came home. Hope they're not too freaked out. You can see it through the tree there. All right. Looking good. Looking good. You can see the stars a little bit in the background there. Wow, beautiful long trail. So at some point, maybe around stage two, we're probably going to expect to see illumination of the plume. We may already be seeing it here. Wow. You can even see a little bit of plume interaction if you look close there. Okay, that's cut off. Now, the stream is pretty delayed, which is why the sound is a little delayed. You can see the second stage up there on the left. Beautiful. And as we get higher, the plume's going to get brighter. I don't see... Okay, you can see some puffs from what I assume is the first stage. Not seeing a whole lot of plume interaction with the first stage here. Looking pretty good though. We're gonna go into this the tree. Stage separation. MVAC ignition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful Miko, stage sep, and SES1, and we're coming up on fairing separation from the second stage in just a few moments. The further up we go, the prettier it'll be. <clears throat> yeah, the plume is beautifully illuminated now. Once we get out of the tree, it should be very nice. Wow. That's lovely. Look at that. I mean, I, I would almost say that you can see pressure variations in the chamber as they fall downstream here. Sometimes on these burns you can also see a little bit of uh, a little bit of the pintle geometry from the injector. Not sure that I'm seeing any of that now, but that's beautiful. Um, I'll, I will note for the what it's what it's worth. It's looking a lot more amazing on camera than it is in real life. It's pretty dark. That looks like a satellite or something that just passed through my camera. Doesn't look like a plane. Looks a little too small to be a plane. Wow, that's in that's really incredible. It's amazing that this stuff happens and I can see it. Okay, still going. Not sure. From now? Oh my god. Okay, so this is a 
long coast here. Okay, every dog in the neighborhood has elected to begin having problems. Hold on. You're recording. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. We'll get away. <laughs> it's all right. By the way, what are you recording? Uh, it's a satellite launch. It's very hard to see with the naked eye. Um, I'm just looking. Yeah, so if you look in the screen right here, see this little tiny yes. dot? So it came up from over there, up in the Vandenberg satellite? Air Force Base. Yeah, yeah, so it's a SpaceX launch. I've got the stream live here, and uh, just trying to follow it as long as I can here. <laughs> oh, I don't care. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah, I have. How you doing, man? <laughs> All right. Still going there. Over on the left. You can just barely see it. There's no more plume, so we're behind where the sun would have an effect. Actually, is that true? Um, we should be high enough that the altitude should be fine, but we may be far enough um, east that it's no longer illuminated, as I, I think what's happening. But we're in about, if we divide into like rule of thirds, we're in like the top, um, like the top left crosshair there see a couple of stars okay coming up on the re-entry burn and I'm gonna be totally honest with you I don't know that I'm gonna be able to see it um, if we can it'll be pretty bright I think usually when I've spotted the re-entry burn, it's pretty bright uh, and it's, yeah, it's closer to the horizon, so I don't think we were going to catch it at all. Okay, I'll be honest with you, I can no longer see the second stage. So I think that's it. With um, dog noises and all. Thank you all for joining. Um, it's been lovely to bring you this launch. I love these these twilight launches. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get more of them soon. I, I couldn't see it, I think for the back half of that, I just couldn't see it with the naked eye, but I could follow it so long as I had picked it up in the uh, in the camera here. But, um, all right, well, have a good night, everyone, and thanks for joining. See ya.